Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Nuremic, and welcome back to more Sonic Generations. Last time we did every level in the Classic Era, and this time we're going to do every level in the... Dreamcast Era, I guess. I, I, I mean, this is Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2 Heroes. I, mean, I, I know one of those wasn't exactly on the uh, Dreamcast, but you know, it, it came around at the same time, so it counts. Anyway, um, okay, uh, give me a few seconds just to get back to use the controls. Um, I, I, was, I was never too, like... I'm not sure. I said this last time. I was never like too uh, on the ball with classic Sonic type games, so it's just—it's not my forte. Although I'll, uh, I'll give it a go. And uh, let's see where we got to go from here. Um, as far as I'm aware, this level is <laughs> hey hey hey. Um, yes. Yeah, so first of all, Sonic doesn't have a spin dash in the classic levels, which is weird because the most recent version of the game I played, which was the 3DS one, did give him a homing attack. Um, if you want to know why, I, I don't even have an answer for you, but they did. I can't. So many spin dashes, man. Alright, uh, uh, death. Even more death. Well, no, 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 uh, uh. I can't seem to catch a break. No, no, no! Okay. Okay, see, I'm starting to get, like, into the rhythm of things, but I'll be damned if there's not going to be a few uh, errors trying to get there. Alright, okay, that seems fair enough. Uh, what we got here? Okay, just platform. Ooh! I see, this is a real weird throwback because this is a game I actually played, so to see it in this game after having, like, fully completed Sonic Adventure on the channel is, like, it, it's so weird. Not that I'm complaining, like, ooh, yeah, look at these backgrounds, man. Uh, of course, just, I should probably not have started the level episode thing off with a, a classic Sonic level in retrospect, but shh. Uh, where are we going? Let's head down here. And there we go. E. Ooh. Okay, that was actually kind of smooth. Oh, this is that. That was real smooth. Hoo -hoo. Oh. Okay, that kind of half counted, I guess. Oh, please, please don't go back. I really don't want to fall into the pit. I was kind of scared my spin dash should launch me in there, but. Okay. Anyway, we've not exactly uh, messed up yet, so. I mean, that's a benefit. Is that really our first checkpoint, or was we've probably passed them more, and I've just missed them? Hey, ring bell. <laughs> I like that. It, it, yeah, it's has to, the original Speed Highway was always like I always found it weird how much it changed. Like Sonic Adventure levels, like for those of you who haven't played them, are split into a. I think it's like one or two acts, right? Uh, just just you know, like keep levels feeling big without overloading the system, which is fine. Uh, but Speed Highway, it, either second or third act. It's so different to what comes before it, and it's like, kind of cool, kind of, eh, weird. And, it, and it's one of those things where I was always like, you know, why, why did they decide to like, like, for context, it's like this for most of the level, but, um, after a certain point, it's like, it's called At Dawn or something, isn't it? Yeah, I, I always found that weird, but, eh. Let's go. Aha, or not. Well, I suppose we went, went somewhere into the void. Um, right, let's go, let's go. Speed run. Viva la speed run. I, I, ah, it's got to, got to listen to the beginning of the music. I, I, do, I do dig the music, I have to say. I'm digging it a whole lot more than I remember, which which is great. I, I, I've, I've always liked Sonic music, so to ha not be let down by it is like... Yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, um, and there was probably an alternate better path that I could have taken there, but I don't see it. Okay, just bonk this guy, go up here. Hey, okay, we're, we're making decent progress. Um, I know I'm saying that while we're about to approach the three and a half minute mark, but I'd, I'd rather the levels take a long time than a really short time to complete. And hey, we even got a red ring. You can't say that we aren't absolutely flying through these. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna expect an S rank. Uh, okay, I got an A here. Yeah. yeah, if I had a perfect clear, I would have got one. Man. Okay, what we'll do is we'll play the next two levels as modern. Just because, just because we can, and I, I want to make I want to make the video relatively interesting midway through, and then we'll follow it up with like a classic level, and then you know, yeah, it's just so finicky. Okay, speed highway. Light speed dash is featured in the next act. Would you like to see a tutorial? No, I think I know. It's mapped to Y, isn't it? So we should be good. I have to. I love this game, man. Oh, okay. The modern remix is definitely gonna slap a whole lot more. I, I can just tell from this opening. Alright, okay. Um, looks like we're not taking the higher road. Oh, I, I swear, knowing how it's like drifting these games now after like I didn't when I was younger is 
Mmm. Oh, it's a Megusta. Oh, this is... Oh, I, I, I love the feeling of blistering through at, like, high speeds. It's great. Oh, Ooh, okay. You can add in LB and RB to make things, uh... Oh, on the, uh, the spicier side. Forgot about that. I uh, why? Yep. No. Okay. Okay, so I assume it's not that in your face, then, if it's... It yeah, probably didn't require a tutorial. Yeah, look at me. Saving us time. Um, at least, so I hope. Oh! Right, this isn't Sonic Unleashed. That is not the homing attack button. Jump is the homing attack button, ladies and gentlemen. Don't, uh... See, I, I play too much Sonic Unleashed, which which is terrifying because its control scheme is easily going to work against me in every other game. Which, which you know... Ooh, look at, look at us! You know, pulling off two finishes. Yeah, but its control scheme is so different in all the other games. But I'm just, I'm so used to it. I know I probably shouldn't get used to it, but I like the game too much to not get used to it, if that makes sense. It's weird like that. Anyway, with that said, I think we're getting a... Oh! I love that they recreated this. Yeah, you can really tell this game was made to celebrate, uh, you know, Sonic's 25th anniversary. Was it 25th or 20th? I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I, for I forgot the quick step was actually in this game. <laughs> anyway, back to a regularly scheduled speed highwaying. Okay, we ain't doing half bad, actually. <laughs> oh, they're trying to tell me how to drift. Ah, those fools. And I reckon we can probably get the whole era done in this episode. I mean... Not that it has much of a choice, like, I, I, again, I want to keep this uh, series relatively short because, fellas, I have the possibility to record Sonic Calls after this. Like, oh, having two good back-to-back -back Sonic games on the channel, oh, I know it's too good to be true, but no, Sonic Calls might be coming up after this, so I, I don't want to drag it out for too long. You know, get get it get it out the way with And then, honestly, once we're done with that, we were, uh, we're, we're rapidly running out of Sonic games to play. Um... Never in my life do I think I'd say that. I, I always thought we'd have like an infinite pool of games to play, but nah, it's getting a, it's getting thinner and thinner every day. Like we've got this Sonic Colors Lost World Forces and whatever comes up next year probably, which is like really weird, right? To think that, you know, it, it doesn't feel like it, but no, it, it's funny I'm saying this on the Sonic Adventure stage, but that Sonic Adventure Let's Play was almost four, or five years ago. It's like man. Man, that's like, time has flown by. Recorded that back in my old room, actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is this quick scene gonna have uh, audio? Okay. Woohoo! Fist bomb. Thank you so much, Sonic. I was scared, but now I'm safe now. Master of ADR, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm, where are we? I told Mama I'd be right back when I left. I mean, it's one way to get right back. Yeah, you can tell why I'm doing the modern stage first here. Ah, what was I gonna say? Um, nah, for those of you who don't know, I, I used to have a different room I recorded in, but... Yo! We upstairs now, and we ballin'! Mmm! Oh, I have been looking forward to this stage for quite some time. Too bad I'm not particularly the best at it, but it don't matter. Are oh, these drifts! Mmm! -hmm -hmm. Oh, and the remix. Blowing around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. Oh, it's, oh, it's so good. Oi, I've never been on this path before, so I'll take it. Now, must keep on moving. Uh, I like how they did two remixes for this song. It's too good to be deserving of any less. Trusting in what you can see. Take my loot, i set you free. I d oh, so good. Tr oh, <laughs> trust me. Yes, yeah, fall into a pit, perhaps. Okay. I'll make it through. Oh, I've missed the song. Like, oh, I remember, right? I first heard the song in Mario and Sonic at the original Olympic Games. There was this little store area where you could buy Sonic music to listen to. And I'm pretty sure it was put in all subsequent games with exactly the same track list with absolutely no amendments. And um, I remember hearing this and thinking, this and Metal Harbor was there too. Slaps. I, n I need this game. I, I don't think I got it until, um, like, on my PS3 after it re-released then. And honestly, it, it was such a jam even then. Like, it still is. It still is. I, I bought it on PC, though it's probably the worst version of the game. And I also have it on Dreamcast. Like, I, 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 I love. I, and it's all because I actually I played that single level. 
Weird to think, but nah, if, if I didn't play Mario and Sonic at the 20-something Olympic Games, I would not have uh, got to play uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Or, at least not as like soon as I did, which I think is the most important part that we are. We are absolutely travestying through this, I must say. No, we, we, we ain't having the best run in this 2D segment, but I don't matter the music, man. Mm. I, I, I remember, right? I remember when I first heard about Sonic Generations coming out, I was like, oh, this was like kind of a best of of always best things, like, remade. And I was like, yeah, you know, City Escape, Escape from the City had better be in there. So I don't think, I don't think I'd played Sonic Adventure 2 then. Uh, which is why when this came up, I was absolutely terrified and confused. Yeah, you know, the bus stalls uh, weren't enough. Um, you know, that thing, that thing needed to be, like, all-inclusive, nightmare-inducing, goodbye child, see you in a week, you ain't sleeping type stuff. Um, at least that's what Sega thought. You know, he's, a, he's, a, he's definitely, um, trying his hardest, isn't he? He really is. Yeah, um, also, as per, you know, as per usual, uh, the truck does come inclusive with, um, flight capabilities. Um, do I know why it has flight capabilities? No. I, I ain't complaining, though. Uh, I, I, and you think I'm joking, so... Uh, the, the, these guys think I'm joking! <laughs> nah. Yeah, don't don't uh, don't run out of boost here. You will, uh, you will die. Anyway, just boost away from just a little bit more. Mm. And just as my boost runs out, too. Now that is what you call level. And I, I got an achievement for destroying 30 cars. I'll take that. So is that... Uh, it's not S-Ranks every level, because we died in that one classic one, but... Man, if that isn't, like, just the level, it's um, it's great. And again, I like how they had Rouge unlocked in this one, because it was the game she was introducing. And I think... We'll, we'll check when we get to Sonic Heroes, but I bet it's Shadow. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, I forgot about, like, the violinish parts that play when you start side a level, but oh my god, that slaps! Okay, anyway, um, I'm not sure if this slaps more or less. Leave your answer in the comment down below. Du -du -du -du. Ah, isn't this one made by Cash Cash, I think, if I'm not wrong? Yeah, they did Reach for the Stars in Sonic Colors. Yeah, I'm not, not, I think a few people like them, I don't know. I always like the stuff they do for Sonic, it's, it's, it's always pre, it's got a certain vibe to it and it fits. So I will, I will let, I will let them continue with the Sonic for now. <laughs> Sounded so pretentious. Anyway, let's uh, get a boost. Not for long. Take my lead, I'll set you free. Anyway, I think. Yeah, um, I, I always remember this level because it, it's weird because I think the truck is really prominent in it. Uh, it's like you know, kind of cool though. Um, however. I, I love how it interacts with the scenery. Honestly, it's one of the coolest ideas they had for a level. Well, you know, instead of, instead of being chased by the truck, it's actively destroying your level to try and impede your progress. Which is like, you know, man. If, if that isn't just the best, I don't know what it is. Uh huh. Definitely brings the, um, a whole new meaning to danger is lurking around every turn. Anyway, um, there is one part I remember, and I used to get stuck on it for ages at a time. Ooh, would you look at that? And I don't think it's got much rubber banding on, so we should be fine. As long as we, like, spin dash frequently enough, we are pretty set. Ooh! Oh, that, okay, that was close. I'm, I'm digging that. I'm digging this skateboard. I'm digging this whole level. Mmm. Oh, me gusta, as the kids would say. Mmm. Okay, oh, the, oh, the truck's on its way. It, it, it's, it's still got that absolutely terrifying feel that the original truck had, which which is like a terrifying feat to accomplish, right? Again, like I'm pretty sure any of you who played a Sonic Adventure 2 battle growing up, why that truck used to terrify you as it got slowly closer. The fact that they were able to keep that intact, like, what, 10 years later? And like, you know, pretty much to a T is terrifying. I'm not sure who at Sega designed this truck, but oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, needless to say, it's quite terrifying. Um, I hate, this was the part I always used to get stuck on. It, it always used to annoy me. Ah, uh, no, please, please, senor. Okay, it, it gave me a boost upwards, but man. 
Oh, I got I got speed power up. That's where the music changed. There we go. Yeah, that's, that I got stuck on that part for a solid like five minutes one time. Anyway, I feel like this is gonna be our uh, our little chase sequence. Yeah, but nothing, nothing a good old spin dash can't beat. With Ice and Derail one at the end. Like, that that was probably my favourite classic level in all of this game. Cause it, it's just it's so good. You know the music and the tr the way they use the truck. Ah, I love it. That is City Escape done. We've honestly not much time on the clock. We're only about 14 minutes in. My time is saying something different, so I might be a, a little off. Anyway, and this one has caught C music. Oh, so someone is looking down on me today. Thanks, buddy. The thing that smashed me was like nothing I've ever seen before. Watch out. Come to think of it, you are nothing like the Sonic I've seen before. Oh, this is the first one I've rescued as classic Sonic. Hey. Mm. Alright, stay sharp. We still have no idea who it is that even brought us here. That is true. We, I mean, we kind of do, but... Do I care? Not really. Not until the plot calls for him. <gasps> is that a Piccolo playing Seaside Hill? Oh, I forgot, I forgot how good this game's music was. Like, I'm immediately adding this to my uh, regular music and stream playlists. Oh my god. Um, isn't this also? Isn't this level technically the only level that ever was a um a combination of two different levels? Because I swear this was, I swear this is a level that's designed to capture Seaside Hill as much as it is Ocean Palace. But more more on the Seaside Hill side, just because um you know that's that that's what most people remember. But eh, Ocean Palace is pretty much here. Like actually, I'd, I'd argue we are probably in the un unseen Ocean Palace. Yo, I, that was not intended. Ooh. Okay, I'm, I'm digging this sped up version though. Even if it is muffled by the water, that is that is a jam. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. This is like actually a pretty difficult level, so we might have to uh, we'll have to pull out the stops, so to speak. Up. Oh, okay. Whenever you hear that, chances are you're getting pretty close to drowning. So we'll uh, we'll, we'll stock up, and uh, I want to make my way back up to the surface. Yeah, that, that, honestly, this this is it's a cool level, but you spend too much time on the water. Luckily, the modern version of this level. Oh, we'll get to that. Uh, honest, like a modern version of this level? Oh, chef's kiss, fellas. Uh, yeah, honestly, I think that is probably a good end stage to end off on before we go to the boss, which is... Uh, I remember playing this for the first time and being confused that you didn't get to aim the cannons. Yeah, because Sonic Heroes was the first game I ever played, and I was not very good at it, but... Uh, I tell you right. I don't think I've ever said this on camera, but beating Sonic Heroes was probably my favourite series I ever did on the channel. Even if it didn't do well view-wise and production-wise, I think just from a me standpoint, Sonic Heroes may be one of my favourite Let's Plays on the channel. Because it was a game I'd known about and been playing since I was super young, but that was the first time I'd ever actually beaten it in the final boss without the need for a 100% uh, save file. I, I don't know, something about that, it's like... That, that made me super happy at the time. It, it, it still does that I was able to kind of share me beating the whole game with you guys, uh, for better and worse. Um, again, if you go watch the, mm, i trying to think what it was, Team Sonic's final episode, right, with Final Fortress and the uh, egg, the, the difficult egg guy with a sword, um, like, it, it was an experience, but you know, it, it's something that I'm, I'm glad I did. Anyway, um... <laughs> I love Sonic Heroes. It, it is, I'd argue it is a relatively, like, underappreciated game for what it is. Like, it holds the Guinness World Record for most playable characters, right? So, I mean, they obviously did something, right? Um, anyway, what, we, what have we got here? Wait, checkpoint. I reckon we're coming up on the ending to this level pretty soon, but that's fine. Ooh! Oh, I forgot those were even in, like, uh, these levels, but man, if they weren't... And same, same thing with the truck, like, those terrify... Now I think about it, all three, right, all three of those adventure games have something that chases you. It, it was the it was the dolphin in Emerald Coast, right? Emerald Coast Dolphin, City Escape Truck, Seaside Hill Rolly Men. Ow. Okay. Yeah, I was I was trying to play it smart. Got destroyed. Um oh, please stop chasing me. I, I kinda of took that. That guitar riff was actually pretty jammable. Hmm. Seriously, I'm enjoying this game a whole lot more than I used to. 
I played it a lot more when I was younger, right? Because this game came out when I was nine, so... I didn't have much money to buy more, any more games. Oh, I played the hell out of this game. And it's like, it, it is as good as I remember it being. Like, credit where it's doing. Ah. Okay. Okay, SBO being introduced in Seaside Hill. Oh. Like, if there's one thing... Oh, oh, oh. Um, more Trump's feature next. No, I don't, I don't want to see this tutorial. I'm too smart. I, I saw. I thought Shadow would be in there because he by far was the most plot relevant character in Sonic Heroes. Like with this whole clone clone thing in Team Dark. Right? Who cares? Um. Oh. Um. Probably should do a trick. Is it, is it right? You know. What? <laughs> okay, let's go and pretend that I thought we didn't just die then. Oh, here we go. Mmm. Oh, missed this level. And it, 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 it's giving me vibes off the original level, I have to say. Alright, like, you know, it's, it's got this, like, opening stretch and then it goes into a loop over there. It's. Uh, I, I like how they reused the little bits of the original levels, but not the whole things. It's like, mmm. I love that. It's cool. I, I love this game. Yeah, I, I was actually a bit uncertain coming into this, but man. Just. Man. <laughs> Oh, okay, so these types of wall jumps where um, they're actually marked out for you. I, I forgot about that. Um, let's uh, make the most of it. We go into the left for once. So I'm breaking every known platformer convention known to human history. How did I get up here first try? Um, I swear there was like a bunch of stuff that you could uh, get to in this level if you knew what you were doing. Yeah, I, I, th I think we're about halfway through because I took a shortcut. Okay, I thought I had to slide under there. Here we go. This is the part I'm like... I always see this in uh, Premi Doremi videos. Uh, he's like a Sonic news issue YouTuber. He has his own personal channel, but most people know him for Sonic news. Um, I, I always see this part in his videos when he talks about like heroes or remakes. It's, it's cool. Not not this part, not the loading screen, but... Again, it's like, yo, know, th this game is a celebration of all things Sonic, right? So for the next two parts, because I assume the boss is going to be its own thing, I'm probably just going to reference like cool things about Sonic. Um, I've got a very big one for next time, but... Um, actually, yeah, re actually, realistically, next time, it, I, I'm writing a note, fellas. It, you know it's serious when I write a note to, um, to remember to mention something next time I record this. And I, it's a pretty, uh, pretty important note, in all fairness. I can't mention a, a certain game that shows up next time without a certain person. No, I, I, I want to keep, like, things relative to the era I'm doing in the same episode, if that makes sense, so. I'll talk about heroes in the episode where heroes appears, but when, in episodes where it doesn't, uh, it, you know, it isn't, and hey. I always thought this area had weird looking grass. Turtle. Ah, sorry about that lagging. I did try and fix up the game a little bit for this episode, actually. Uh, I don't want to say that. Um, it was running kind of choppy last time, as I'm sure you'll notice. It was trying to run at 75 frames per second, though I maxed out at 60, so. Apologies. Uh, Oh, let me just uh, keep moving on. No, no biggie. Yes, yeah, it still came out looking pretty nice. Oh, okay. I, I, for, I forgot. Like again, it's the same thing with unleashed controls. Uh, look at me saying, "I'll keep, I'll keep it stuck to uh, whatever you'd call it." The episode. But it kind of applies. But that like that hit, unleashed rail grinding thing is like, uh, it's, it haunts me. You know, because I'm too used to it. it. It's a good system, and you know, I suppose they did change it for the better. It makes more sense here, but man. Uh, it's, just, it's one of those things where I'm too used to it now to kind of like let go of it. So it'll be that thing that always crops up. It's basically a really bad habit, is what I'm saying. Which is fine. And I wanna. I, we have a lot of stuff to cover next time, but as for this time, what what else could we cover? Because I spoke a lot about heroes. Um, first of all, um, for those of you interested, um, if you were sub to the channel at the time, which was about coming up two and a half years ago. Um, the Heroes Let's Play, um, as I'm sure some of you may notice, originally took a really long time to finish airing. Like, it took us over a year to actually finish it, right? And towards the end, I ended up rushing through Team Dark's story because I wanted to, uh, I think it was, like, November 2018, which was the, uh, it was the 10th anniversary of Sonic Unleashed, and I wanted to do something special, so I, uh, yeah, I kind of, uh, rushed through Team Dark and the final story to get that, uh, Unleashed Let's Play out. I think I mentioned that in the videos, but it's been so long I'd be surprised if anyone still here remembers that. I, again, it, it's weird to think, right? I, I'll keep talking about heroes, because... Again, we've got to go do a rivals battle now in SA2. I'll touch on SA2. 
But Heroes was the last Let's Play my channel did before it... It started changing for the better. Um, I'll touch on that in a second. Hey, hey. So I think we've pieced together more of what's happening. And it's not good. I mean, I don't think there's like an actual passage of time in here, so, you know, I suppose tomorrow is not really ever going to happen. Uh, oh, I right, thank you. ADR time, let's go. Uh, hmm, hmm, flip. Uh, look around, fall to the ground. Hmm, thank you, Sonic. I was a ninja in a dark space, and I was holding myself together. Hmm. hmm. Okay, be wary, Sonic. Sense a great darkness in that enemy. Well, yeah, it is purple. Anyway, uh, we've unlocked the gates and rival battle now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do the rival battle and then dip straight to the boss because yawn. Um, as I was saying though, uh, where is he's gonna be above SA2, isn't he? It's, it's obviously Shadow we're fighting, like to, to no one's surprise. <laughs> I, I love that you can stand on though. That there he is, there he is. I see him. Of course he's above Rouge, little uh, little simp. Um, no do 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 do. Yeah, I have to stop jamming out to the music for my own good. Um, no, was, um, Heroes, like I said, it was the last Let's Play I did on my channel before I started changing it. Uh, it, it, it wouldn't be like, noticeable, but it was, um, what would be the word? Um, yeah, I kind of changed some stuff after that, uh, starting with Unleashed. But it, it, it's kind of nostalgic. Um, I kind of, I kind of like that. It, it's cool to look back on because a lot of my commentary from them is really similar to how I commentate now. Um, yeah, it's a little bit different, and that's kind of the cool thing. Anyway, um, SA2, um, that was what came before Heroes. Um, oh my god, this music. Isn't this a remix of one of the songs in the soundtrack, or is it entirely new? Yeah, that's that's a reference though, so... Is, is this White Jungle? Ready, go! So you need to um get to this purple orb before Shadow does, and then um I think it allows you to like deal damage to him or something. Um he's he, he sure is a curious one like this Shadow, but oh the setting here, the setting here is just the best. Okay, charging. Oh you need to get two. I see. I'm not sure what happens when you uh get two. Do you like launch an attack on the guy or something? It's a uh, it's not exactly the most specific instructions in the world, is it? Who cares? And yeah, this isn't exactly how I remember the boss fight. It's fine. Um, also, I think... Oh, here we go. Sonic power-up. Hit shadows with meat rights to slow him down, then boost to knock him down. Oh, is that remix of Live and Learn? Oh, he can quick step into them. Now we're talking. Oh, and it's not even a remix, because they knew they couldn't top it. Ah, oh, Live and Learn, too. Hmm. I was like, so again, same thing goes for the Sonic Adventure 2 Let's Play, actually. It is very much how I uh, commentate now, with just a few changes, and boy, is it. It's, it's, it's pretty swag. Anyway, um, oh, hey! Is that a round one knockout? Do -do. Yo, I will take that. I'll take a quick Rivals victory. Achievement unlocked, Shadow Boxing. Yo, Shadow Boxes? Okay. Anyway, earn some points. Actually, uh, if we have a short level for the finale, I might start it off by going into the shop or something. Anyway, with that said, um... Oh, that's, um... What's it called? Oh, uh, the Shadows theme from SA2. Anyway, with that said, as per usual, I'm gonna, uh... I'm gonna let dip, as the kids would say. And, uh get these keys, and I'll be back to see you at the boss. Um, also, it's not the hardest boss in the game, but it can, it can be a little bit difficult, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see you back here. Okay, and that makes the last king. I'm gonna cut all those challenges out just because they, they, they weren't particularly anything, although I will say the uh, I had a challenge with Rouge, which took place at night in Seaside Hill. 
That was cool. I can dig that. It gave me, um, it gave me at about like vibes. I know I say that with anywhere with like an overabundance of water, but shh, okay. And with that said, uh, Mocha Boss. I remember on the 3DS version, this was the Bio Wizard, but nah, I don't actually remember what this is. I know the boss that comes after it, but nah. <gasps> oh, how could I forget? Oh, this remix of Open Your Heart. You know, there's no sound effects for Chaos, but that doesn't matter. Th this boss is, like, terrifying, right? But it's how Chaos was originally meant to look back on the Dreamcast, so... Oh, it's, of course, perfect Chaos. Mmm! Oh my god, Open Your Heart Remix. I'm not complaining. Oh, they may act they may actually, you know, make me act up twice in a single episode. You can't put City Escape and Open Your Heart in a similar level. It's, it's not allowed. Okay, anyway, boost into these guys, free kill. You need to make sure you don't take too much damage and you have enough rings to actually damage the guy. Okay, I'm going to try and be an informative, but water rising. Look, they've made me act up and sing. Sing. Not just two times in a year, but in a single episode. If, you, if you're familiar here, I almost never do that. Even with some absolute jams. So, consider this game pretty good music-wise. Um, now I think about it, isn't this... Um, it is Crush 40, right? But I think Cash Cash helps out with... A, it helped out with a certain part of this song. A remix, remake. I, is, I'm not sure. Is this an entirely new recording or is this uh, a remix? I'm not sure. But either way, it like, sounds so good. Like, I'm annoyed that I didn't realize that because I what's it called? Um, I have this song in my music playlist, right? Um, it's called Elite Music Playlist. It's public on YouTube. Um, yeah, it, it's like it's been in there, and I've been jamming out to it for months. So the fact is which I haven't been able to, uh, you know, like remember it was here, it kind of sucks. Also, we did that one with no boost. I'm pretty happy with myself. Anyway, floating platform time. Well, technically they're being pushed up by water pressure, and sadly, open your heart is gone. Uh, now that is that's, that's honestly the most offensive part about this boss. Because in both versions of uh, the Ca Perfect Chaos boss, right? Um, they stop! They stop playing Open Your Heart! The heathens! They stop playing it! I know. I'm as shocked as you are, right? But we'll get through it. Somehow. Um, is this the last hit, or is there um, some more to it? <laughs> it kind of ends a little bit abruptly if this is the last hit. No, I guess it is. Yeah. I'm sure there is a mod out there to make it, um, you know, open your heart play for the whole fight, but, yeah. It, it, kind of, it kind of falls flat when it stops playing. And with that said, achievement unlocked. Perfect Punisher. That's me. And we got our perfect bonus. Yes. That was the second take of that boss. I got clipped out of bounds in the first one. <laughs> and with that said, I think we've got a cutscene. Oh, there's no audio. Oh, right, we look at all these places we've revived. Huh. Ah. So? Eh, yeah, I just take out chaos. Woo Woohoo! Now, Sonic, we need to go and do the next three stages. What? But that's all three stages. You're damn fucking right. Yo! It's a time eater. The duck. Ah! Open this music. But uh, he do be vibing, though. Ah, oh, that's a chaos emerald. Hey, why can't he grab it? Hmm, this is a little bit suspicious if I say so myself. Now why he's gone? Why, why does he keep appearing? There's, there's no reason for him to. Th this is getting suspicious fast. Well, what's points at each other? Okay, let's do the next three stages and get a Chaos Emerald for all I care. I think, I think it's a planet Wisp. Why, why are we leaving the planet? Isn't that bad for like oxygen or some shit? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, uh, I'm gonna point too, even though I can't speak. Yeah. Okay, see you later, Tails is. Which, which one is the actual Tails? I don't fucking know, you tell me. Uh, okay, oh, I'm, out of, I'm out of improv comedy to do. Although, in all fairness, in all fairness, that is essentially just what goes on in the cutscene. So, I, I'm. I'm not opposed to that being the canon, uh, 
the, the, ca- the canon audio for that cutscene. You know, Sega hit me up. I do a fire classic Sonic voice. Um, you know, m- m- maybe that's the reason they don't want the guys to speak. Anyway, I think with that, I'm probably going to end it here. Because it's, it's been a fun little time. It has been a fun old time. Uh, you know, finish the whole of the Dreamcast era. Oh, I am. I'm excited to see what's going to come up next time. And I think with that, though, uh, yeah, we're going to end it here. So if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps out a bunch. And you get to see when new episodes come out. And with that, I'm going to end it here with this absolute jamming piccolo version of Seaside Hill. And I know I've been foaming at the mouth over it this entire episode. But there's a reason for that. And I think with that, I'm going to end it here. So again, thank you for watching. And with all that said, all that side. Thanks for watching, guys. My name's Ben Ramic, and peace out.